Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial, we have add fields in controller and store procedure for dynamic icon and color in tutorial project. Now, we need to retrieve that information from database and reflect that in the sidebar. For this, we have to identify what, what is the ID of sidebar. So the ID is admin sidebar we need to identify where it is utilizing so find in the entire solution so it is searching within the whole application where the same word is used whatever it is id or class it will match all the subsequent matching strings by the way we are using this admin sidebar in the metronics layout for now uh, we will stop searching because we know where we are using this but if you don't know where you are using anything which you want to find you can use control shift f to find that uh, information in the entire solution and project so here we are inserting the dynamic links in the admin sidebar by from here okay now what we are going to do we will fetch that data uh, here you can see in the console here we have result one and two and here you can see we have different results id location and links and here we have admin sidebar and that information here you can see uh, we have admin sidebar card tracking information and here we have other link which is for the post uh, here you can see we have link URL icon link icon and so on this information okay now what we need to do we need to check this query in the default controller here we have the link and here we have the procedure here okay find that procedure and search that filter when it is executed it's give us record like this okay now we need to add link icon links color execute and here you can see update the procedure in the front end now we will add values by stopping the application fifth and sixth column links icon and links icon color execute the application now we need to use this variable in the metronics layout okay it is executing here we will say copy this link and here we will pass as links icon and save it now refresh the application and here you will see the icon will change automatically when it's get refreshed okay here you can see we have this icon and here we have uh, nothing to show now we are going to add style for the color now refresh once again and you will see 
how dynamically color and icon will be reflect in the admin sidebar okay so it is not reflect yes uh, the reason is that we have we are using this only white uh, but I forget to use this now see how it look alike so finally we have achieved this feature of dynamic icon and color within the tutorial project I hope this is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects YouTube channel take care bye bye have fun